Okay, part two, we are now inside of FL Studio. I have two screens, so I took these ends over here, and you just drag the different parts of the, whichever windows you want to be looking at in the different areas. Take your time when you're first getting set up in here to kind of get everything in a place where you can see it. If you are confined to one space, there are a couple buttons up top that really help you out. If you click on them, let's... uh. What's one that we don't? Boom. If I click on that button, that whole window goes away. Maybe I don't need to look at it right now. Right, and I can bring it back. And different, different buttons up here will get rid of or add in different windows that you'll want to look at. Getting used to interface will be the hardest thing with these types of systems. Each DAW has its own unique way of interacting with it, and it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. But once you get used to FL Studio, it doesn't take super long compared to most. It's a little more intuitive, a little easier to work with. You can kind of get up and running. So let's take a look at what we what we got here. So down here we have a pattern uh, section, and this is where I can make the drum beats. And I can also, you see here, denote the different notes of different instruments to be playing. Over here, this is where I'm able to select different sounds that I want to use. It takes a long time to go through and listen to all the different possibilities, but uh, it is really useful to know what you can work with. And the cool thing is you can always bring in free or paid VSTs or sounds and add more to this list over here to bring into your song that you want. Next we have the overall track layout, and here's where I grab each pattern that I build and put them up here. Okay, and then finally, I brought the mixer over here. Oh, actually, right now, it's just the piano. Let me get the mixer set up. There it is. It's that button. So the mixer over here, I'm able to adjust how loud everything is. Because this is a very entry-level video, I'm not adjusting any sounds over here. We're just getting a quick beat going together and letting you take it from there. So... Now you've kind of seen the basic parts, the anatomy of FL Studio. Let's go ahead and drag this guy out a little bit. Make it a little bigger for now. That's as big as you'll want to go. And we're going to take a look at this pattern bar. If you want to know what your sounds that you've pulled over. So here, let's just pull over something. Number one, if you click on it, in the list, it'll give you like a little hint for what it's going to be able to sound like, and you drop it in here. Now, if we just click one of these buttons, it'll actually occupy that space, and you right click to delete it. And there's something very different about FL Studio. You don't highlight things and delete it, you just right click it. As if you have like, don't you know when you want to like open up like a question? thing like, oh, like, do you want to delete things or not? You right click. Well, here that just closes it down and it's gone in FL Studio. So that's another thing. You have to get used to what clicks do what and what buttons on the keyboard do what. Different things like that. You'll all have to learn. Okay. So if we go over here and we click this, right, it's just going to go to the default sound, which will sound like that. Now I can be a little more, uh, I guess, intelligent maybe would be the word to describe it. You can right click, click on this and go to Piano Roll. I've set the Piano Roll to open up over here. And I can tell it now to open up and play different tones over here. So maybe I want it a little higher. Maybe I want it a little lower. Maybe I want it even deeper. And so over in the Piano Roll, you can select that volume. And now if I click here on the graph, it's going to write in those different sounds. This is total gibberish, and it's not the sound I want, so I'm going to go ahead and right click those all the way and get rid of them. So for now, we don't need this anymore. So let's take a look at what we've done. Oh, can I exit out of this? Here it is. With our beat. So let's go ahead, we're going to mute the other sounds. That's this little green button here. So that's no longer going to make any noise. And let's actually go ahead and mute everything else. And we can kind of listen 
to this whole beat slowly come together as we hear different pieces. So now I'm just going to press the space bar, and that should just get this pattern going. Oh, and up here I should actually explain. You have pattern, it'll play the pattern. Or if you click here, it'll play the song. So right now we want to listen to the pattern. So this is just going to make this section just go over and over and over again. So you press that, or space bar. So here, very top, we can see this 808 kick flashing. 808 is a very common rap or hip hop sound. They were actually made in the 80s, and people at first hated them, but uh, people in the rap industry now kind of like them for their unique sound. So we can hear the kick going. Now let's bring in the clap. The snare goes exactly with the clack. clap, clap, blah. It just kind of fills it out. All right, it's just a little louder. We're going to bring in this little hi-hat. I also brought in this hi-hat to, to really beef that up. You can adjust the volumes of these. If you want a little louder, a little quieter. And then I decided to bring in this other sound and you can see it's going at this weird timing it's not going at the same timing as the rest of the song it kind of gives it a cool little feel very last we have this little bass line it's totally boring but it's something for you just to kind of see how it's constructed so if we right click this go to piano roll we can see I laid out the Sound. Up here, we can drag and drop this top area, and you can see it's going to zoom in or zoom out. If I want to, I can make these shorter. Do you hear how it makes it? Now it's shorter. I can make it longer. It's going to mess with things. Not that much, though, huh? So you can adjust the length of the tones there as well. And then once again, if we want to change the zoom, we can drag and drop that. There's also little scroll buttons over here, but I rarely use those. I mostly just manipulate this little zoom button. Okay, so now we've started to hear it. But um, we can also do some more interesting things. So if we look over here, I have some strings loaded into the uh, program. But uh, I haven't written them out, and that's because I've also gone up into Preferences. Is it options? And I have a MIDI controller. So I have a keyboard that has a little plug. And my friend actually gave me this one. I have a couple others. But this one's nice because it's just so small. It just sits in my lap. I'm able to mess around with it. So that one, it just runs. It plugs into the computer over here. And then I'm able to tell FL Studio, hey, go ahead and play this. You might need to look up tutorials to help you set this up correctly. You can see there's a particular channel it's been ported to. And if we come back over to, oops, let's get out of here. Back over, we can see that string section. There it is, number five. All right, so. So we can have fun and play along with this beat, right? Uh, and later on, you can also learn how to record your own voice into FL Studio and you can literally construct a whole entire song in this program. It's not my favorite program to use because there are a number of features that, especially once you start working with live instruments like I like to do, voices, keyboards, guitars, bass, drums. I don't really like electronic sounds personally too much for my own music. So um, there are programs that work with live sounds and kind of the processes of editing them a lot easier than FL Studio makes it. But FL Studio is great for beginning to learn these, how to put together a song on a computer. It's also great for putting together songs that are more electronically based. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of just like play a little bit of music along with this. Just have a little bit of fun here to go. I'm going to switch the song. Can I just play the whole song? And we're going to have some fun, huh? Here we go.
So a good bit of fun. You can start making beats now. Hopefully that kind of helps get you off the ground with this. You can see it could be a very time consuming thing. I've spent, I don't even know how many hours in previous years of a younger me, just going through all the different possible sounds over here, searching the internet for all the different possible sounds I could possibly use to make interesting songs, all the different effects you can use. So it can really be a time consuming thing. So be smart about you know how much time you are putting into this. But the time that I've put into this over the years is not something I would take back because I learned so much about how music is put together. I learned so much about what types of music I like to make up and learned how to work with a computer to get those sounds to happen. So good luck working with the computer and feel free to let me know in the future if there's anything that you have trouble with and you need help with. Also, the internet, uh, because these programs now have been out for a long time, uh, the internet is a very helpful resource. Just about any problem you can think to possibly come across in these things, somebody else has had it, somebody else has asked a question, and somebody else has answered it. So just about anything you want can be found on the internet. Alrighty, good luck, have a lot of fun.